Yo, what's up? This is Rock Lane. Today on Passport Kings, we're going over the pros and the cons of traveling by yourself in 2018. Engage! I'm Rock Lane. I travel the globe for leisure, exploration, and education about different cultures. Join me, and you too can be royalty. This is Passport Kings. Welcome aboard abroad. Subscribe and enable notifications so you can see all the other videos you may like. Passport Kings makes videos about travel and recommends destinations to help you discover, preview, and book your next adventure. And as Henry David Thoreau said beautifully, the man who goes alone can start today, but he who travels with another must wait till that other is ready. Traveling the world alone can be challenging of course, but it also has its advantages too. So I don't think you can't begin traveling today if you either don't have a partner or your friends aren't willing to go along. Modern travelers very well have the capability to manage on their own and enjoy trips alone. But surely, we understand that if this is your first trip alone, you or anyone else in your place are probably hesitating to jump and go exploring an unfamiliar region of the earth on your own. To help you, this episode has both the pros and cons of traveling alone, and it is updated for this year so you'll understand the new nuances. Check out this quick commercial about the new Passport Kings t-shirts that are available now, and I'll be right back. Passport Kings just received a big order of our t-shirts. If you want to wear the correct t-shirt when you are out and about, if you want to wear the best t-shirt possible when you are abroad, the new Passport Kings 2018 t-shirts will fit right up your alley. Go to our website and order one today and you will not regret it. Super fast delivery and very low prices for t-shirts. We'll see you there. I can't wait to see a picture of you in it. Okay, so here are the benefits of traveling alone in 2018. Number one is easy planning. When you're traveling alone, planning becomes very easy. There are no conflicts of schedule. You can decide on your own where you want to go. There will be none of that talk from people talking about they've already been there or they don't have the days off of work to go. You simply decide in your mind where you want to go, call or text Passport Kings and BAM, you're there. Stress-free and easy planning makes your adventure better even before you pack a bag. Number two is the freedom of choices. When you don't have anyone to adapt your interests with, you get freedom. You're free to choose anything, anywhere, any place, way or whatever you like. No longer will you have to drag someone to a zip line in sight only for them to flake out as soon as you get there at the last minute. Your excursions are your own ideas and you won't have company trying to drag you to places that you would rather not be. Number three, spending as much money as you decide. Whether you have a tight budget or can afford luxuries, expenditures of money with or without a partner are two completely different experiences. If you are not on par with your companion in terms of finances, it can surely create some awkward situations. Or, when you're together doing the things that they've longed to do, it may initially get out of your budget. Both parties would rather visit places that they're interested in instead of going because of financial compromise. Number four, confidence building. The best thing about traveling alone is it builds confidence and gives you a sense of independency in a way that no other situation could. You will get confidence in yourself, monetary management, and everything else you'll learn to do for yourself on this trip. When you get home, choices like what to eat for dinner or what movie to watch becomes a lot easier to make and stick to. Like being independent in music, it is necessary to reach the limits of your own creativity without outside forces coercing you. Now here are the disadvantages to traveling alone in 2018. Feeling lonely. There's a feeling of lonesomeness that comes from traveling alone. You miss home, friends, and partners that you usually hang out with in your city. Enjoying a moment that you both could share later in life is priceless. Traveling together can be the glue that creates true bonds. Telling someone about a magical experience or even sharing it in a picture that you put on Instagram is nowhere close to having them experience it with you at that time. Number two is security and safety. You are your own security guard when you travel alone. I know you're not supposed to put that responsibility on others when they do come with you, but just having another living, breathing body walking alongside you can deter would-be crooks from trying to do something. Not only that, but there'll just be two points of views, two opinions of what happened, and two sets of experiences and instincts to refer back to when trying to determine if this is a sticky situation or not. When you are by yourself, you'll need to deal with all problems alone. You'll have to have eyes in the back of your head and be extra careful with your belongings. And besides, four fists are better than two. Number three, splitting your budget. If you're traveling alone, you won't have the liberty of splitting the expenses in half. 
When it comes to cruises, most rooms greatly discount your room when it's based on double occupancy. Your regular room in a hotel could have been split between two to three people, and even splitting Ubers effectively means that you are paying half price for everything. On the other hand, when you're by yourself, all incidentals are on you and you alone. That fact alone will have you with less money than you would have had if you were not by yourself. Number four, someone to share and express yourself with. The worst thing about traveling alone is that you won't have someone to be crazy with. Being goofy and meddling with things is just not as fun when you're by yourself. Trying on a stupid hat in the mirror is not the same experience as pestering someone to look at you in it. You also won't be able to express your ideas and emotions, triumphs or fears, or no internal feelings alone. Even seeing your buddy's face or answering his questions after you've bagged the baddest chick in the area is something both of y'all could refer back to for the rest of your trip. So at the end of the day, traveling alone can free you up to do what you want to do and go where you want to go without buddy baggage. But it also comes with some precautions. Are the precautions too much for you to handle? Even if you're saying yes to yourself right now, I can guarantee you that it isn't. I personally prefer for people to join me on a trip, but if they can't, that's not going to ever again stop me from going. So yo, even if no one else wants to go where you want to go, that should never stop you from making up your mind about being somewhere. So always go where you feel like a king, a passport king. Peace.